Okay, this is the 4.1 section, you try it, right here. And this is going to demonstrate how we set up a truth table in the program bool. You see I've already got something opened right here, there's bool. I have uh, just a blank uh, window open here. Alright, so it says open program bool, which I've done. And what we want to do is uh, construct, reconstruct, I guess, because uh, they've already talked about this truth table. And what we want to do is do that from scratch. And so we're going to assess whether this sentence right here in the textbook is a tautology. But first, we have to set everything up. So it says, first thing is enter the sentence, which you see there, at the top right of the table. So let's take a look at Boole. These are going to be our columns for uh, A, B, and C, and we'll get to that in a second. And then this is uh, going to be the section on the right-hand side where we construct sentences. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do, I'm going to use just these symbols over there so that it's easy. All right, so I'm just going to follow this. It's going to be not, and then parentheses, A, and I'm going to do a space after that, and then and in space and then there's another set of parentheses right there so we'll do that start that up and then there's another negation a and i'm going to do another space and then there's the or operator in space and then come down to parentheses right there b and so space and space c and then you see there are three parentheses right there. One, two, three, then another space, or space B. All right, so there is our big, long sentence right there. That's what we're going to evaluate. All right, and so what you want to pay attention to here, and we'll do this as we go through, are the main operators. All right, so we're going to, like we said in class, we're going to go inside out. I'll get to that in a second. So. Here's what it says. Uh, let's see, to build the reference columns, that's over here, the left-hand side, click in the top left portion of the table to move your insertion point to the top of the first reference column. Enter C in this column. All right, so it helps to know where we're going when we fill this out, okay? So I'm gonna start with C. The reason is because the uh, it's gonna go in order. So it's gonna go A, B, C because there are three constants. You see A, you see B, and you see C. So we need the truth values for each one of those. And that means that there are going to be three. So C is first, and then I'm going to click this plus sign, and that's going to give me the second, B, and then I'm going to click it again, and that's going to give me A. And now we're done with our reference columns over here. And you can see right here that they're not lined up exactly, but we've done the procedure right, so it's going to work out. All right, so let's go over here to C. And remember, all of this is basically automatic. And if you remember, the one that is uh, closest to the end of the reference column is going to just alternate 1, 1, 1, 1, meaning I'm going to start with true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. And because there are three constants, we have eight rows, just like that. All right, and then in B, you remember it's going to go by twos, T, T, F, F, T, T, F, F. And then for the first one, it's just going to go by fours, T, 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 F, 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 F. All right, and so there are truth values for all the reference columns over here. And this would be the case for anything we had over here that had A, B, and C used over here. All right, we could have any number of sentences in any combination that we want over here, and this reference column is going to give us the truth value for whatever we come across over here. All right, so let's see. You can also do it, uh, add column before. I did it, I think, the easiest way, um, so we're going to go with that. So this says click under the various connectives in the target sentence, that's this sentence right here, and notice the green squares appear in the columns whose values the connective depends upon. All right, so for example, we go over here. This is an OR statement, and it depends on the value of this NOT for NOT A, and it also depends on the value of this AND for the truth values of B and C over here. So we don't have those yet. What we want to do 
is find the first operator that only depends on these uh, atomic elements over here so that we can fill in that first part and it's going to be over here all right so if you I'm not going to go through them all but this negation depends on everything that's in the parentheses all right and this and depends on everything that's inside these parentheses right and we don't have those yet so we can't start there this right here this or depends like I said this is the example on both this over here which includes the negation right here and we haven't figured that out and it also depends on the truth value of this whole sentence right here with the and operator so let's go over here all right you see if we clicked on here and this is a good sign the and just depends on the truth value of B and the truth value of C and we fill that out just automatically over there in the reference column okay so that makes it easy for us and you remember when we have an and it's only true when both of the conjuncts in this case B and then C are true so T and T is the is what we're looking for for the true value of the sentence alright so what we want to do is we want to say that yep, that's true because they're both true over here so we write a T it goes down the next we have a false alright you can think of that kind of contaminating the conjunction and that makes it false so we want to say false again we have another false there so this sentence, if B is false and C is true, the sentence, because one of the conjuncts is false, is going to be false. And if they're both false, obviously, that's false, false as well. If B and C are both false, it's false. That's what we're doing. Then we go to here, and they're both true, and that's the only case where the conjunction is true. So we say true. right? And then we're just going to do it rote. We see a false, false. We see false there, false. You see both false, false. And now we have completed this column. So we know all the possibilities given our reference columns for B value and C value. Okay, so let's move. Remember, we're going to go from the inside out, more or less. And uh, I explained what that means in class. But we are going to do the ones that don't depend on anything. And so over here, you see the next main operator is going to be this or but you see it has a green box right here and that depends on the value of this negation so let's come over here okay and now this should be really easy because remember this is this all this is saying is just not a and it's going to be the opposite of the a column right if it's not a all the way down it's going to be the opposite of a all the way down so all we need to do here is write the opposite truth value for each of these reference columns. Remember, we're just doing this by rote, okay? Um, this is going to be automatic. So, opposite of true is false. Negation of true is false. Negation of true is false. Negation of true is false. And then back to T, 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 T. And that was really easy. Okay, so we have that and we have that. Now, we have both of the values within this statement that we can fill out right okay so or and you remember or is sort of the opposite in terms of truth values of and it only takes one true for the statement to be true so if we have false and true with an or statement that's going to be true if we have two false remember we need a true for this statement to be true and both of the disjuncts are false so that's going to be false same with this, obviously. False, false gives us a false with or. Again, false and false gives us a false with or. And now we have two trues. Remember, we only need one, so that's obviously going to be true. We only need one true. And look all the way down. True, true. So true, true. And now we got that. So we've done this part right here. And remember, we're just trying to get to the truth value of the sentence as a whole and the main connective is out here but it depends on all of this right here including this negation and the value b so we're working our way out right now so we have the truth value of this which is the main connective of this sentence here from this into the parentheses to that now let's take a look over here this depends on the truth value we've already figured out 
and the value of a, right? So it's saying a and the truth value of this whole sentence. What is the truth value of that? So remember, this is conjunction, so we have t and t, so we're clear there, we get true. We have a false there, and that's no good. We have false, true and false, we have false, true and false, we have false, false and true, 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 we have false. Just filled that out. Okay, so all that it was doing was, it wasn't highlighting this, it was highlighting the reference column, and they're the same thing. Here's A, here's A, and that's what that was doing. Okay, a lot of moving parts to this, but we're just taking it one piece at a time. All right, so we're not done with this whole thing because there's a negation out front, and that negates all of this that's in that's in here, right here, right? The negation of all this, and the main operator inside the parentheses is here. So we're gonna go outside here, the negation, and it's just gonna be, again, negation is just the opposite of whatever it highlights, okay? So we have true, and we're gonna go false, and look, we have false all the way down. So we can just do that really easily, true, 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 and we're done with that. All right, so this whole thing, here's the main operator of this sentence right here. There it is right there. Now remember, the main operator is over here, the or, so let's go over here. And now, as you would expect, it's gonna take the truth value here, because it's this whole sentence, or the truth value B, and B is just its own reference column here. And remember, we're dealing with or. We only need, only need one true for the statement to be true. So we have T and F, which is T, T and T, which is T, F and T, which is T, F and T, which is T, T and T, which is T, T and T, which is T, F and T, which is T, F and T, which is T. All right, so let's see. One of the important things we want to do when we've done all that is check to see whether our columns are filled out correctly. See where it says verify up there? I'm going to do that. And we have a bunch of green checks, which is exactly what we want. Check, 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 check. It all checks out. All right. So let's see. Where are we on the you try it thing? Okay. Select a column. All right. Got that. When you are done, use the verify item from the table menu. We did that. We got all green checks, and that's a good thing. Okay. If you fill the table correctly, green check marks should appear. That's what happened. Red crosses indicate that you've made a mistake, and we didn't see that, so that's a good thing. Once you have a correct and complete truth table, click on the assessment button, okay, and that's over here. Here's the assessment. Again, this says in the pink area under the toolbar, there's no pink area. This must be like an older version, but you get the idea, assessment. We need to say whether it is a tautology, and look, it is. All trues, that's how you know, right there, all trues. Right, there it is. So we're gonna assess, and here, let's see, is a tautology, there it is. Tautology, okay, and now we're gonna click verify, and look, green check right there, this is a tautology, and so we've done it correctly. See a green check mark next to the word tautology on the assessment panel, there it is. And now you're gonna save your table as table tautology one and that's how to do that.